and Shradananda. Hey, Chris. Oh, thanks, Sam. Hey, Greg. <clears throat> hey, so I'm in a new stage in this um, recovery. So la we spoke last week, the congestion was more in my oh, heart. Yes. Now okay. it's going, yeah. right. <clears throat> now it's up in my throat and it's kind of burning today. <clears throat> and um, so I gargled with bay laurel and salt and warm water a couple times today. Um, anything else you can tune into for me? <clears throat> And so I can't, I can't remember, did you get a diagnosis or did you test positive or? Oh yeah, I tested positive um, early November. Okay. So early November, so we're on like what? Week two, week three? Four, maybe Four. five. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, five, maybe. Let's see. Yep. One, two, three, four. Week five. <laughs> okay, so you have a burning throat. It seems like oh. at night I cough, you know, from my chest. Um, although last night was more severe than other nights. And I found a <clears throat> I found a cord on my throat today. Yeah, the, the tendency is when you get sick, like you get, it's like much easier to get corded and stuff. And, you know, sometimes the cords maybe precipitated it, but, you know, it's always good to check. Um, boy, that's been so long. Uh, so let's have you do this, you know, concerned about the, the sore throat, concerned about the still having a lot of mucus um actually there's no mucus coming out there's no like you don't problem. have anything in the nose or nothing in the chest like if you're so coughing sometimes not it's not coming i mean sometimes right there's not a lot coming out okay tenderness in the throat or anything like that like yes. if you like you, there is okay mm -hmm. so let, let's do this um you're, you're gargling with bay laurel. I put several mm -hmm. drops of bay laurel on your on your wrist or put it in like a little bit of lotion and you can just rub it on, on the areas. Um, okay. If you want to rotate it, you could use um, naoli, you know, which is like the cousin of tea tree, like uh, naoli over the lymph nodes, you know, even on the, the chest over by the armpits. Let's, mm -hmm. let's bump up your energy levels and, and Put a little bit more spunk in your immune system like that you've had it for so long i think you know not just fortifying but we need to uh, like um naoli can kind of like uh help like stimulate it's not it's not like stimulating but it's like it helps like the fires of the immune system like burn you know what i mean like if you're okay. really trying to deal with something like if you're fighting off an, an infection in an acute phase, but like at four or five weeks, that's that starts to be like a like it's a chronic infection. And it's just all that means is it's just been there a while. Like it doesn't mean that it's like escalated or stepped up a notch. But, you know, that's the thing with some of these variations is, um, you know, before COVID, there was a flu that went around where people would get it and then they would get better. And then about two or three weeks later, they'd get it again. Like they'd cycle through it again. Mm. And yeah, know, I was the variations better. of the, of COVID, like, I think we just got to be aware of like, there's just all kinds of potentials that are there. And so um, I'd like you to take some time internally as well like if you had time thuyanol geranol linalol thuyanol would be my first choice um even if you don't have those and you just have regular like red or white time or benchmark um any of that would work but ideally th th uh, time thuyanol would be the thing and two or three drops probably like three or four times a day like let's let's just go after this pretty aggressively 
Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm just, I want you to get better. Like, it's not like, oh, we got to do this. Oh, yeah. Something else is going <laughs> to happen. It's just like five weeks. God, that's got to be miserable. Like, it's just, let's I help your body. I'm cycling. I'm, I think I'm cycling through it, like you said. Like, I was yeah. feeling better. And then. Yeah, it makes me hmm. wonder if that that is a new um mutation because the like like i said it was about maybe two years before covid there was some really i mean it was pretty much everything that i saw that was like the flu it was like the person would get better and then they would like within two to three weeks cycle through and like go through another like two week period again and and so um uh, i used naoli a lot to, to treat that um, um, just because of the nature of what it was. Like you wanna, there, there's certain things that you use to like fight it when it's in the acute phase, but when it starts to turn chronic, I, I like to go to like Ravansara or potentially Naoli. Naoli is just, um, it, it, it helps to strengthen the immune system like even like with allergies and things, it could be something that you would use there. But um, yeah, time. Um, I mean, if you wanted to rub like some some Sylvester pine on the chest, even though the respiratory tract seems to be doing better. Um, I, it, it, just my experience from the, those those past situations, I'd almost like treat the symptoms, even though that they're gone, I'd still treat them for a little while, just in case it like cycles back around. And so I would just keep treating like things in the respiratory tract, even though they might not be present right now, like until you're completely free of this, I would treat it even as if it's there, even if it's not. To keep taking Monarda. <laughs> I would keep taking some Monarda. I would bump up some time. Um, definitely the the bay laurel on the throat. Mm -hmm. So a variation, like if you want to rotate something for a sore throat. Okay. You know, M Monarda Monarda can be good for a sore throat, but it's it's usually like sore throats that are related to like gum health. Like, you know, if the gums are like there's an infection in the gums or something and then it drops down into the throat, Monarda is really good for that. But um, for, for this, I would stick with Bay Laurel. But if you want to switch it up a little bit is you could you could use uh, turmeric, like, you know, do a couple drops of turmeric and gargle with it. And I. I even would take um, a couple of drops of turmeric and then rub it on the inside of the gum. Okay. Um, and that can help alleviate some of the, the lymph nodes and the tenderness and all that, um, taking it internally as well. But, um, and I, I mean, I hate to have you just take a whole bunch of things, but some golden seal from the health food store might be a good idea just by itself. I not with that. It. What's that? I have it. Yeah. I was going to say not with golden, um, echinacea, just straight up golden seal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And last week you mentioned, let's wait to take lobelia. Do you want me to take that now? <laughs> that it's a sore throat. I, I think just the things that we've said. I, I don't. Um, I, I think just the things that we've said right now. I, I think that's that's quite a bit. That's really going after lymphatic function, lymph function. Um, yeah. Okay. And will you email me in like about two or three days and just let me know what your progress is with with doing all this? Oh, thank you so much. I will. Yeah. yeah. Um, can